But again, the rain freezing on contact with cold surface is creating some of these slick conditions. Even the T had trouble getting through the South Hills. Jessica Gway is live in Beachview with a look at that and some of the road conditions in the region. Jessica. Ken, we have more freezing rain falling down right now. That's what we've been seeing most of the night here in Allegheny County. And all of the roads that we've been checking out, including Brookline Boulevard here, look wet. But if you check out my snow boot on the road right now, it is very slippery. I almost fell walking over to do this live shot minutes ago. So it's even dangerous to walk outside right now. Ice definitely a concern. We saw it causing problems earlier. Around 7.30, the T was stuck in Beachview because the line was frozen. You could see the line covered in ice. One of our coworkers was actually on the T, and she said they were stopped for a while. Port Authority spokesman Jim Ritchie says when there's freezing rain, overhead lines can get icy, and the contact between the line and the car is diminished, and they can get sluggish or stop, like we saw happen this evening. Richie says they will run sleet cutters to shave away the ice that builds up throughout the night. And for those who need to hit the road and drive, we've been keeping an eye on conditions in the county. You want to be careful. The roads have been wet, slushy, and slick in some areas, and sidewalks even worse, very icy. I spoke with PennDOT officials who say the only difference for crews tonight compared to yesterday is that they're using a mix of salt and anti-skid material on secondary roads. They have 80 trucks out in Allegheny County right now. And also, the 45-mile-per-hour speed limit has been extended on I-79 from the West Virginia state line to Erie. They also have implemented this for the entire length of 80, Route 22, and 70. So you want to be careful. Every official I spoke to today and this evening just urging people to stay home if they can. But if you do have to travel, of course, we always say this, be careful and take it slow. But something that's also very important to remember, you should pack an emergency kit in your vehicle. Live in Brookline, Jessica Gway, KDK News.